Dr. Colleen Fogarty, the chair for the University of Rochester Department of Family Medicine, is with us again. Doctor, good morning. Thanks for a few minutes. Morning, Mark. We're talking about hypertensive disorder in pregnancy. What is this? Great question. So hypertension is also known as high blood pressure. And the hypertensive disorders in pregnancy include chronic hypertension, or that which develops in a person before pregnancy, or high blood pressure that develops during the pregnancy. Why are we talking about this now? Why is this important? It's a great question. So hypertension disorders in pregnancy are associated with some severe mother complications like heart attack and stroke. And they're also the leading cause of pregnancy-related death in the U.S. The CDC is out with some new numbers. Uh, what are they telling us? That's right. They analyzed data from 2017 through 2019 of anyone delivering in the hospital. And they found that 13% of those delivering in the hospital in 2017 had hypertensive disorder in pregnancy. And by 2019, this number had gone up to almost 16%. Older women have a higher risk of having hypertensive disorders of pregnancy. So if you look at the range of age 35 to 44, 18% of those women in the hospital for delivery had hypertension. And 31%, almost one in three, of women aged 45 to 55 years. Th these percentages are high, and what's alarming to me is that the disparities are yeah, even worse in some cases based on race or ethnicity, right? Absolutely. So the, the key finding here is among black women, the prevalence of hypertension in pregnancy was 21% or one in five pregnancies. And among Native American women, it was 16%. All right. Uh, obviously, the key question here, doctor, is if you're pregnant, what can you do to address this and try to bring these percentages down? So on a, on a population level, we need fair and equitable medical care for everyone. And it also emphasizes the importance of getting blood pressure checked before and during pregnancy. Blood pressure checks are part of prenatal care. And if the blood pressure is found elevated, there are medications that can be used to control the blood pressure during pregnancy, before the delivery, and special monitoring is done when the person comes into the hospital for labor. Labor. Additionally, home blood pressure monitoring by the woman herself can be done, and those are really, really important interventions. Yeah, for sure. And of course, just this having this conversation is helping to raise the awareness as well, and that's a big part of what we're doing this morning. Doctor, thank you again. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Mark. Have a great day. You too. And I would add, uh, we've got a link with more information about this. We'll share this on our website as well at rochesterfirst.com.